Hello everyone and welcome to the October Fish, Bugs and Deep Sea Critters update for Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now this is a slightly shorter video because we're in that strange interim period where things are starting to change over. If you live in the Northern Hemisphere, strap in, it's going to be a very quiet couple of months. Before we dive into the video, please do leave a like and hit subscribe if you enjoy my content. It's not just Animal Crossing, I put out variety gaming content almost daily but definitely weekly and some of it is moderately good so check it out okay let's waste no more time and jump into the northern hemisphere and i'll start with the fish as i always do okay arriving at the start of october in the northern hemisphere are the following fish the yellow perch which is a shadow size three can be caught all day long is found in rivers and is worth 300 bells and the dab yeah that's it there's only two shadow size three can be caught all day long is found in the sea and is worth again 300 bells they are all the fish. I told you it was going to be a quiet couple of months. Let's jump over and check out the bugs. Okay, bugs arriving at the start of October in the Northern Hemisphere are as follows. It's just the ladybug. Can be caught between 8am and 5pm, is found on flowers and is worth 200 bells. Let's hope the deep sea critters are a little bit more exciting for the Northern Hemisphere. And finally, for the Northern Hemisphere, the deep sea creatures, they are as follows. The seaweed, which is a shadow size large, can be caught all day long, is stationary because it's seaweed, therefore it doesn't really move, unless it's pushed along with a current, and then I guess it kind of would move, but it doesn't in Animal Crossing. Uh, it's worth 600 bells. The spiny lobster is a shadow size large, can be caught between 9pm and 4am, has a fast movement pattern, and is worth 5,000 bells. And finally, the Venus flower basket is a shadow size medium, can be caught between 9pm and 4am, has a quick, long lunging pattern, and is worth 5,000 bells. 500 bells. That is everything arriving in the Northern Hemisphere in October. It's that horrible period now where we're going to really experience what the Southern Hemisphere have been going through through our summer because it's becoming our winter now. It's going to be a lot, lot quieter in terms of new creatures. Let's jump over to the Southern Hemisphere and find out what's happening down there. Okay, let's start with the fish. The first new arrival is the killifish. It's a shadow size one, can be caught all day long, is found in ponds and is worth 300 bells. The crawfish is a shadow size two, can be caught all day long, is found in ponds and is worth 200 bells. The snapping turtle, a favorite of mine, is a shadow size five, can be caught between 9 p.m. and 4 a.m., is found in rivers and is worth 5,000 bells. The guppy is a shadow size 1, can be caught between 9am and 4pm, is found in rivers and is worth 1,300 bells. The neon tetra is a shadow size 1, can be caught between 9am and 4pm, is found in rivers and is worth 500 bells. The seahorse is a shadow size 1, can be caught all day, is found in the sea and is worth 1,100 bells. Hey look, we found Nemo. The clownfish is a shadow size one, can be caught all day long, is found in the sea and is worth 650 bells. And following along behind him is Dory. Surgeonfish is a shadow size two, can be caught all day long, is found in the sea and is worth 1000 bells. The butterfly fish is a shadow size two, can be caught all day long, is found in the sea and is worth 1000 bells. And finally, the zebra turkey fish is a shadow size three, can be caught all day long, is found in the sea and is worth 500 bells. That's all the fish for the southern hemisphere, let's jump over and check out the bugs. Okay, kicking things off for the bugs is the common blue bottle, can be caught between 4am and 7pm, is found flying around in the air and is worth 300 bells. The agrius butterfly can be caught between 8am and 5pm, is found flying around in the air and is worth 3000 bells. The Raja Brooks birdwing can be caught between 8am and 5pm, found flying around in the air and is worth 2,500 bells. The Atlas Moth can be caught between 7 p.m. and 4 a.m. is found on tree trunks and is worth 3,000 bells. The Madagascan Sunset Moth can be caught between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. is found flying around in the air and is worth 2,500 bells. The Long Locust can be caught between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. is found on the ground and is worth 200 bells. The Dana Dragonfly can be caught between 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. found flying around in the air and is worth 230 bells. The giant water bug can be caught between 7 p.m. and 8 a.m. is found on fresh water, so ponds or rivers, and is worth 2,000 bells. And the jewel beetle can be caught all day, is found on tree stumps, and is worth 2,400 bells. And finally, the flea. This can be caught all day long and is found on itchy villagers. That's villagers complaining of being itchy. If any of your villagers complain about this, hit them with your net and you will catch a flea. The flea is worth 70 bells. 
That's all the bugs. Let's jump over to deep sea creatures. Okay, rounding us out for this update is two new sea creatures for the Southern Hemisphere. The first is the Lobster, which is a shadow size large, can be caught all day long, has a quick movement pattern and is worth 4,500 bells. And the Sea Pineapple is a shadow size small, can be caught all day long, has a quick movement pattern and is worth 1,500 bells. That is everything for October. Quite a slow month in general, a lot more appearing in the Southern Hemisphere than we have in the Northern Hemisphere. But as I said at the start, we are entering that period in the Northern Hemisphere where it's going to be very, very quiet for quite some time as we move into winter. I hope you're all still enjoying the game. We are entering into spooky season, my favourite season of the year. So I expect this month I will do a couple of Animal Crossing videos about the Halloween items and probably just uh, how I make my island look because I'm going to cover it in Halloween stuff. So let me know if you do want to see something like that. Please do drop a like and hit subscribe if you enjoy the content. And I'll see you soon for another one on the 1st of October. I'll drop the video for everything leaving that month. I'll see you then. Take care.